Hello everybody, this is Budrich. Uh, last video I did was uh, this um, how to exit Sublime. It was kind of a, a, a response in a way, but also I just figured out how to yeah, exit Sublime uh, correctly. But it was also a, like a response because uh, both DistroTube and, and Luke have made a lot of Vim videos lately and stuff, you know. And I have also gotten uh, some some comments like this for instance Razor1991 asks uh, if I don't like VS Code and I got another comment but I think uh, the, the, <laughs> the one who asked that question have deleted their comment but they asked uh, why I don't use Vim and first here I thought I would make like a, a, a rant video about uh, why I use Sublime or why I don't use Vim or if I like VS Code or whatever. But I will not do that because um, I kind of made a draft and I, I, I just thought it was uh, silly. Um, but I also got a comment from Philip uh, Azevedo. Um, who um, really enjoyed uh, the Vivaldi browser videos and in a way, you know, it feels like we kind of um, left uh, Vivaldi hanging in a way, you know. And I went back to look at, at my old files and, and stuff and uh, the last couple of days here I've actually tried to uh, um, fix this Vivaldi repository and th this is a public repository, it's still a work in progress here so just be aware if you go here and, and it, it might look completely different just an hour from now. I'm trying to document all, all the uh, um, scripts and, and dirt tags and stuff here. Um, and I think I also will add uh, uh, girl to the my girl config because both be because it's kind of related uh, but also because a girl, the girl didn't get any love, you know. Uh, but right now, girl is uh, uh, ignored here in, in git ignored. So it's not part of the repository at the moment. Uh, one thing I have with this, and girl is uh, this URL uh, uh, handler I have written. Yeah, maybe we could uh, open up a girl as well here. Yeah, we got this guy also. Just as a refresher, this will not be uh, long about girl here. It's a simple plumbing framework. Uh, zero stars, zero forks, no one cares, you know. But uh, this is actually cool, cool stuff um, uh, that I use all the time now. And I, I, I when I release the girl. Uh, uh, repository here and also the videos accom accompanying it uh, it was kind of brand new for me too but now I have used this for, for a couple of months here and uh, I feel th th this was a good good thing so that's uh, uh, upcoming stuff um, the next video will probably be a, a Vivaldi video again uh, but one thing this girl can do is um, or it's not girl, <laughs> it's not the girl, it's it's uh, Polyfy. Polyfy, which is um, a, a script I wrote that uh, can uh, look here now in Polybar. If I do this, Polyfy long option module, name of the module. The module is called girl, it's located here, it's hidden. I say hello, now it says hello here in Polybar. And I can clear that if I want to. Oops. Girl, clear. And there, now it's cleared, so to speak. But you can do uh, uh, quite a lot of things here with Polyfy. One thing is that you can do this. If we do uh, girl hello again. If we don't, if we just uh, uh, print Polyfy module girl here, then it will do this. It will print the content of that module to standard out. Uh, you can also do this. If we do hello, let's do hello again here. Like this. There, now it says hello again. Uh, we can also do msg here to add a secret message. Secret 
yeah, like this. Now, nothing happened here with this, but if I now uh, just print the content of this girl module, you can see it, it, it contains two lines, and Polybar only displays uh, the last line here. So you can add as much text as you want here as a message, only the last part will be printed in, in the Polybar module. Um, and now I have added this uh, polyfy pop uh, command here to pop polyfy. So that's, uh, that should be available if you install this from R AUR or uh, if you clone this repo, of course. And polypop here, it's a very short, uh, simple script. Uh, you give polyfy pop uh, the name of a module, for example, girl here. And now you don't need the, the long option module, you just do polyfy pop and then girl and now if I execute this I don't think anything will happen here. no nothing happens uh, because what polyfy pop does uh, is first it tests that uh, the first argument is the name of uh, a module or it actually doesn't test if it is the name of a module it just uh, you just need one one option or argument it, it says here first argument should be the name of a polyfy module but it never tests if it really is the name of a polyfy mod module. <coughs> Maybe I could add that now when I think about it, but whatever. Um, and then it uh, executes this polyfy module uh, and the module you gave it and takes uh, head one, the first line. So that would be secret in this case. Uh, and then it tests if the first word of, of that line is polypop in all uppercase. So, uh, if that is true, then it will evaluate the rest of the line, meaning executing that command. And what that means is uh, that we can do something like this. Um, as our message here, we, we write polypop in all caps, and then we can do it just uh, to test this. Notify, send, uh, popo there right now it still says hello again here but if we do uh, this now we can see the first line here is polypop space notify send and this means that if I now would run polyfy pop then the first line uh, polyfy pop girl the first line will contain the word polypop in all uppercase and that means it will execute this the next part of it or it will, it will evaluate it, but that will in turn result in this. We get a notification here. And this is kind of cool, because then that means that you can, can use Polybar as a, for notifications, kind of. And then uh, um, use Polyfy pop to execute commands. Well, now that I think about it, I need to fix this in my i3 config. I don't think I have done that. Because I renamed this... Uh, here it is, polyfy pop uh, girl. Reload i3. There, bring back the foxes. There they are. Um, so let me just demonstrate this uh, really quickly here uh, with a girl module that uses this. And <laughs> this is cool. I uh, just saw that Luke Smith has uh, started. Uh, begin season two here of uh, uh, Not Related, his podcast, which I think is a really good podcast and I really hope he, he will um, make regular releases here to, uh, to on this. And of course, <laughs> uh, they are in OG format here, so yeah, that's that. Um, but with my girl stuff here in Vivaldi and everything set up, I can do this. I press S and I get a hint here. Press D, then uh, it asks me here which pod, uh, not related, select that, select the name for, for this file, uh, and I just like to name them uh, as the date, and here I have my podcast directory open here, press enter, and it will take a while here now because it have to, uh, com it, uh, I have it so that it converts all audio files uh, I download to mp3s. So I use the same girl, but it tests if it is a, 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 a audio file or whatever. 
But now I'm not, well, there it is. And now we can see here in, in the Polyfy module, not related, downloaded, blah, blah, blah. Now we can use Polyfy pop here. S super control space. Polyfy pop girl. And that should now have queued this uh, podcast episode in my media player, which is MPV. And if I go to the next track here, it should be not related, uh, this new track here. And there, next track. And, and we can see the thumbnails match. And <laughs> the, this image is, of course, not related. Uh, this is another thing that my girl, girl uh, uh, script for downloading podcasts does. It uh, automatically embeds uh, a, a thumbnail and an album art to the mp3 file itself. And it tries to use uh, the, the already embedded mp3 uh, or image file to, to the, to the uh, audio. But if there is no album art al embedded, it will just take a random uh, file from this directory, I believe. Now I'm not sure here if, if this is 100% political correct images here, so maybe I should just stop uh, 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 scrolling here. Yeah, I think I will do that. But whatever, it will take a random image from this NWP uh, uh, directory, just because I think it's nice to have some image like this. I, I often just have this open, uh, listening to a pod here. Now I don't want to start it, uh, even if I don't think that Luke will, will make any cop copyright claims. And also, I'm not sure here if uh, OG files, I have never looked into this, no one uses OG uh, anymore. MP3 is free now, you know, <laughs> so you don't have to use OG anymore. But whatever, it's still very cool and kind of based to do that. Uh, but I don't know if uh, Luke embeds uh, this... Uh, image here, because this is really what, what I would like as the album art. But I can also do this uh, if I want to do something quick and dirty. I can press shift, print screen, I haven't tried this in a long while now. Then screenshot selection. Make a screenshot of this, because I'm a pirate. Joink. Yeah, that's, that looks fine. Close that window. It has ask me here. I select album art. Boink. Now this is the album art. Not sure if it updates, if this script also updates the, the thumbnail here. No, it did. I, I have to fix that. Uh, that's a simple thing to do. But you can see I can very easily uh, create, uh, add new album art just taking a random image. Okay? And I can take any image, you know, and just do a make this the album art if I want to do it. You can see it have to close uh, MPV and uh, do this b for it to work, but kind of works, kind of cool, kind of not related also. I'm not sure where, what this video is about. Uh, I just want to show you this new uh, feature of uh, Polyfy, and it is not really a feature of Polyfy because the new release here uh, um, of Polyfy, I didn't change anything uh, at all in the code, in the Polyfy code. The only thing I added is a new command script here. Um, and yeah, when I recorded this now, as, as you could see, uh, I know there is a way when I think about it to check that the, the argument is not just not empty, but also a valid module. And maybe I should, should test for that as well, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, <coughs> even this test uh, doesn't really matter, but whatever. So that's what's going on, uh, and it's all related because uh, I, I don't know, I got stuck in this not related, is related, whatever. Damn you, Luke. Um, but it is for, for my um, Vivaldi Rising thing here, uh, for that to be somewhat uh, uh, understandable. Uh, I need to fix all these small uh, scripts and stuff. And as you can see here, this this my girl thing here, just downloading this uh, uh, MP3, embedding the album art and stuff. That's it. It has so many uh, dependencies. Uh, I have realized, uh, like my own things, you know, the i3 menus, the the whatever. But I really try to make this as general as possible, and I haven't 100% decided if I will. Uh, um, if I will add my girl modules here or not. There are some cool, useful little scripts here, how to generate thumbnails, extract thumbnail from media files and add thumbnail, blah, blah, blah. It's uh, cool, cool stuff here, but I know that it will be 
people will have issues with it because for, for one, one thing is here uh, add ebook is, is a command I have and that uh, opens Calibre here uh, with i3 run and some people they don't just like they don't use Cal they hate Calibre because Calibre is is like the weirdest software in the world world a lot of people don't use i3 run and it's not like I I don't really want to add like tests for do you have i3 run installed do you have this installed do you have that installed also use uh, wget and some people might just hate wget and say you should always use curl or whatever uh, and this is just one example here also pdfs uh, i open pdfs i i have found that llpp is a great pdf viewer but some people like some other uh, pdf viewer whatever and saving these pods you know then you have to manually set here the directory where you want to save the pod where you have your fallback uh, wallpapers or whatever that you want to use as images if they cannot be found and there's so much stuff here uh, that can uh, uh, that will make it not work uh, if you just randomly clone this repo so i think i will if i add it it will be uh, our little secret you know um whatever that's what's in the pipe um more vivaldi rising coming up and one one thing that i will focus on then is uh, stylish and here i have uh, now it's uh, located here in this reddit directory i will move this around a bit but i have um, applied some style sheets and stuff to reddit here for example i think i will add a couple of more sites here uh, and sometimes i add just uh, style sheets sometimes i add javascripts as well uh, so we can look a bit at into how to to do those things that's what i uh, have planned at least i hope you have a great day stay safe stay cool stay whatever see you in the next video bye bye bye